Welcome to Area DMG. Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Philip Wesley, the Mile High Mouth, and today we're going to unbox something that I was just like, oh, I, I kind of need this. And I know I should probably leave it in this box because the box is good, but I also don't care about those. So, uh, <sighs> I'm going to talk something controversial here for a little bit. Um, if you've seen the thumbnail, you kind of have an idea of what I'm going to unbox. And you're probably like, seriously, are you really a collector of those? Kind of, but also kind of not. But also kind of. Um, so, let's get right into it. Um, let me tell you what I'm going to unbox today. I know what you're thinking. It's like, wait, what? What is this? Is this isn't video game related? I thought this was a video game channel. I want my free money back. Hey, <sighs> you can click away if you want. It's okay. I understand. But I'm going to talk a little bit about Office Space by Mike Judge, which, by the way, if you're a fan of Office Space, check out his other movie, Idiocracy. It's more relevant now than ever before. I think one of my favorite parts re-watching that one is that they pay people to mention things in that future, in that weird dystopian future of um, idiocracy where there's trash all over the place like in Wally, -E, <laughs> and people have just degenerated down to like ridiculousness like Starbucks is kind of like prostitution and um, Costco is like, welcome to Costco, I love you. And, oh gosh, the healthcare is the ultimate point where people are just pushing buttons that kind of describe the pain. And I'm like, oh no. Which actually reminds me of that little um, thing that's like, on this, um, on this little scale, show me how much pain you're in. I'm like, oh no. I think one of the best parts, though, is Brondo, the people that um, are like in charge of a whole bunch of this stuff there. They're a huge lobbying firm. They sell Gatorade which everyone drinks. <laughs> um, it's got electrolytes, which plants crave. Anywho, um, one thing that was amusing about that is in this weird dystopian future, there are people who are, quote, influencers, end quote, who get paid to mention things. And I'm like, oh no, my judge, you magnificent ah, you evil genius, you. By the way, King of the Hill is really good. And uh, his, his previous stuff, Beavis and Butthead, and um, the spin-off of it, Daria, also pretty decent, um, weirdly enough. I remember when it came out, people were like, oh no. But all they do is really, like, do really dumb things. Um, actually, King of the Hill is an off offshoot of uh, Beavis and Butthead, same with Daria. And, uh, huh, interesting. I, I don't know what Mike Judge is up to these days. I hope he's doing okay. Um... Idiocracy is not on Blu-ray. I wish it were. Um, but Office Space, I think, is on Blu-ray. I need to pick it up on Blu-ray sometime. This is from the cover of Office Space. This is the Sticky Note Man. Now, this is a made-for-think geek. Um, join in, geek out. Mm. Here's the bottom of the box. Wa -da 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 -da. Side of the box. And... Uh, the back of the box, where they have the main character, Peter Gibbons, Joanna, who has the appropriate pieces of flair, Bill Lumberg, who's like, yeah, um, I'm going to need you to come in on Saturday. And uh, Milton, and, and, you know, it, it, it's, he's holding his stapler, and you know, they steal my stapler again, and we have to bring down the house. I bring down the office. You know? Yeah, anywho, office space is fantastic. Um, it's worth watching again, because... Um, so much a terrible office culture is in there. I know people love The Office. I, I still love The Office. There's actual The Office related uh, pop figurines, which I'm not going to purchase. Because a lot of the people, when it comes to pop figurines, are kind of, yeah, lackluster is the best way to put it. <clears throat> but uh, this, this is kind of an exception because it's from the cover and it's hilarious. And it actually might look good in a cubicle. You see, Part of what I do in life is eventually to get you a cubicle. Be like, this is my office. 
technically I already have my own desk. But anyways, this is the Sticky Note Man from, uh, well, Office Space. Let's go ahead and open him up. Here's the top of the box. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. I know what you're like. You're like, no, Philip, don't open it. You'll ruin its value. Ah! I'm like, I like opening these things. I like displaying stuff. Look at this little guy. He's worth almost 500 bucks inside his box. Yeah, I know, Philip. Why did you take me out of my box? I am not a toy. Oh, man, that reminds me. Um, those Toy Story 4 Forkies, there's two. There's the sad one that's at GameStop, and then the normal one that's at Target. And I'm like, oh, no, Philip, don't do it. Although I do like Forky. He's kind of like a spirit animal. And honest, to be honest, he's, his, his Funko figurine doesn't look too bad. There's a bunch of these that are related to anime and other stuff. Um, <laughs> some of them are really tempting, but I really like the ones that aren't people. So, uh, let's get down into this. This is kind of not a person, it's an office worker. Get it? Womp womp. Oh man, now there's Pokemon ones, and those might be fun, but to be perfectly honest... Oh, I like this. It can probably stand up on its own. Let's pop it over here. Yay, box. People are like, look at that box. Oh, it's actually nice and nice, you know. It's actually straight. Look at that. That is a good condition box. Yay. Anywho, let's take a look at him. Look at that, the shininess of those glasses. You can kind of read the post-it notes. Oh, there's a missed opportunity here to have more post-it notes. Oh, well. Here's the bottom. Here's these. He looks fantastic. It looks like something that should be included with like a 4K version of uh, that or just something that just sits there and looks awesome. Looks good in a cubicle. Woo! Oh, let's bring him up a little bit closer so we can zoom in on those. Let me read those. Get oil change today. Out to lunch. Get chair fixed. Print resume plus e resume plus email. Um, do taxes. Oh, it moves. Get um, antiacids. Okay, let's see what that one says. PC load letter. My stapler. Flu shot. Call mom. I should. Uh, meeting with the Bobs. Uh, meeting today. And uh, um, and fifty. Cover sweet um, oh, cover sheet on TPS report due taxes. What does it say really quick over here? Trying to figure that one out. Actually, let me check the box. What does that say? I'm honestly having trouble reading that one. Ah, it says find memo, send memo, rememo. Ah, there we go. But yes, this is the uh, sticky note man. I like it because it's kind of a little ludicrous. I feel like this is a missed opportunity here. Right here. Missed opportunity. Yeah, I would have put like buy more pops. Anywho, that's the sticky note man. Whoa! Look at him. Look upon him. He's going to look cool. Up on a desk somewhere. Well, actually, on my, probably on my uh, main desk. I know what you're thinking. Man. Pop figurines, how many of those do you own? Well, um, if you're interested in finding out, stick around for another video. I think I'll do that next. I'll do like, how many pop figurines do I own? So you can look at it and be like, man, I own more pop figurines than him. I'm awesome. Or you can be like, I own far less pop figurines than him. I'm awesome. Or you'd be like, I own the same amount of pop figurines as this person here on the internet and now my life is ruined. Well, if your life is ruined, or if you have this pop figurine, or you're just like, why did you take it out of the box? Let me know in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that share button. And ring that little bell so you're notified whenever we have a brand new video here on Area DMG. And until the next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.